All right, I'm on. Okay, what I'm doing here is packing up and getting ready to go because it is uh, 6.30 at night. And I'm getting my mind ready. 6.30 at night, well, no, it's, yeah, it's, it's 20 minutes till 7. Well, what am I still doing here? Well, in the state of Georgia, there is one, uh, one task that does beat IEPs as far as intensity, general idiocy, and moronic needless paperwork. IEPs are kind of important. This that I'm doing now is not. Well, it is. It is important to the state, thanks to No Child Left Behind. What I'm talking about, of course, is the alternate assessment. The Georgia alternate assessment uh, is basically me trying to put a portfolio together in order to prove that students with IQs in the single digits uh, can do algebra and physical science and geometry and English literature. That's basically what I have to do, is show that these kids can do 11th grade stuff. So what is the Georgia Alternate Assessment? Well, basically, what it is, is when I take a student with an IQ in the single digit, and I show that they are worthy of getting a Georgia high school diploma, uh, instead of taking the uh, Georgia High School graduation test that the other kids take, these kids get an alternate assessment which uh, involves putting together a portfolio using 11th grade materials at an 11th grade level showing that they have mastered an 11th grade curriculum. And this is for students with IQs less than 25. Otherwise, they would take the Georgia High School graduation test, which they wouldn't pass. But since uh, even with the maximum number of accommodations, my students cannot pass this test, they need something else. And that something else is a portfolio that we call the Georgia Alternate Assessment, otherwise known as the GAA. The GAA, of course, is linked to No Child Left Behind, and so my contribution to helping our school meet, uh, make adequate yearly progress is putting together this portfolio which proves that my student has access to the regular education curriculum. That means 11th grade literature, uh, algebra, geometry, social studies, and science, all on the 11th grade using uh, access to 11th grade materials. Uh, that means I can't use preschool stuff, I can't use kindergarten stuff, it's got to be looking like it's 11th grade. So, and I had most of that done, but there's still a lot of paperwork to do. I got to put all this to stuff together, then I got to put together all the entry sheets, and our school wants everything, all of this done before Thanksgiving break, which is this Friday. And in fact, they're having us turn it in uh, a couple days early because they want to check it. Which means the week that we get back from Thanksgiving break, we have to have all of this stuff completed and polished and spit shine. Uh, fortunately, I got ahead of the game and I only have one student, but it's still a lot of work. It is a pain. And those of you who, uh, other special educators that teach students with severe and profound disability know of which I speak because you are currently going through the same torture and hell that I am going through. Good luck everybody with the Georgia Alternate Assessment. This is only collection period one. We're going to do it again next semester, right? Thank you, George Bush, and no child left behind. Ah.